Damn it. I told you. I already told you it wasn't me, man. Man, come on. I told you like like 20 times. I don't even I don't even know your bro. Two hours? Oh, we're not used to it. It's not your fault. What the hell, man? What? You know. Cut it out. Jesus, you guys. You gonna make me? Yeah. Hey, Vince. Justin's gonna make me. It's too hot for this shit. Vince, I'm making him hot now. Yeah, Danny, you're making me hot. Oh, shit! Come on, Vince. Hey, man. How about you open a fucking window? It's a prison bus, asshole. The window. Hey, Justin. That shit ain't See that right, guy man. in the beat-up truck? Ain't right. I bet he Shut lives in that there. truck now. You probably got his whole house. Life savings. Shit. I bet you stole his dog. You steal his dog, man? I wasn't stealing from guys like that. Anyway, better than stealing his virginity. Hey, how many times I gotta tell you? Here we go. Seriously, I was falsely accused. How old was she, 15? Damn it, it ain't like that. You telling me there wasn't a star witness waiting around in your white van? I'm shocked. We're all in the same boat here. What's the point of arguing? The point is, I'm not like that. My lawyer's gonna be hearing Tell about you what, this. Guys, he gonna I have your afraid to say it. Jobs when he I'm hears really about this. missing my girlfriend right now. You I'm guessing she's pretty pissed nerve, at you. Man. It's I worse than that, man. She won't talk to me. Mouth. I haven't heard her voice in months. Really messing with me, like for real. Just let it go, man. I want to, but you know, I love her, man. You should call her up when we get there. You gotta face that shit. You know, you're right, man. First call I get. Danny, I know you don't realize this because you're you, but you probably ruined that poor girl's life, you piece of shit. Big talk from White Collar back there. How many lives you wrecked, kid? Who cares? Hotter than hell up in here. I'm getting dehydrated. Hey, how about some water back here? Shut I thought up you took the there. stand and cried your eyes out. I'm telling you again. Didn't you lose your yeah, shit man, and tell them you didn't know what you were up, doing? Or I'll set you I up. I lied. Turns out I'm good at that. You lied on the stand? See, that's the kind of shit I could never do. Religious? Nah, man. Watch a lot of cop shows? Nope. What then? It just ain't right. Oh, give me a break. I gotta admit. I'd say anything to get out of doing more time. You guys are messed up. Says the criminal. You wanna know the funny thing? I don't regret any of it. I carried my victims for years. They knew what they were getting into. And now here I am, and there they are. And Wall Street assholes pulling the same scores are smiling on TV. Fuck that. How did it all work, anyway? It was like, uh, a pyramid scheme. How'd you live with yourself? Easy. I didn't think about it. How much did you make off with, anyway? Enough. So, like, a couple hundred K? A little over a hundred. Million. God damn, boy! Oh, ho ho! When we get out of here, you, me, and Vince, we gotta go into business, know what I'm saying? You know, I don't actually know a thing about you, Vince. Maybe he's a priest. Yeah, Father Vincent. I bet he touched a kid. Two kids? You touch a couple kids, Vince? I killed some assholes. Whoa. Damn. He's not lying. Are you? Then how do you know? Like I said, I'm good at lying. And he's not. 
dead serious. Damn, man. How'd they get you? Tossed the gun up on a roof. And? It was a good throw, and a roofer found it the next day. You, know you gotta be is. kidding me. This is cool man, you're bad luck, Vince. Punishment, man. Bad luck, Vince! <laughs> That's not I'm bad. You, man. What do you think, Shut Justin? The fuck up. What the fuck are you gonna do about fuck it? Fuck you. Fuck me? <laughs> fuck you, motherfucker! Oh, shit! Oh, man. What the hell is going on, man? Red tree, knock it off! Hey, get in there, man! Sit down, now? God damn it! That's right. Hey, let him go, man! Damn it, Crab Tree! Don't make me come back there! He's gonna kill him, Vince! Let the guard handle it, guys. Fuck that! We gotta get in there! You do not oh, want to get down, in the middle buddy. of that shit, Danny. What the fuck? Vince, you're the tough guy here. We gotta get in there, right? I'm not doing any more time to save some stupid ass. Where's her empathy, man? Help him, Danny! What's that? Speak up, boy. I can't hear chain's too short! Crabtree, I'm warning you one He's last time, goddammit! You gotta get in get there! Get yourself in there and wait that shit up there! Come on, man! Come on, boy! Get back there! Okay, asshole. Let him go! Get in between them, goddammit! He's gonna kill that boy! Knock him out! Let him go, goddammit! What the fuck was that? Fuck. Jesus. What happened? What did you do, boy? Goddammit, boy! Answer Damn. me back that there! That guy's still alive! Get those cuffs off him, man! What the hell was that? He he made a move on me! I, I, I don't know! He made a move? Or you don't know? Which one? He's still breathing? He's, uh... Fucking fuck! You gotta call someone, man! What? I'm calling this in! Don't... Don't call it in yet! Just... just wait, okay? Just give me a damn minute! He might still be alive. Call a damn ambulance, man! I just need a minute! I need a minute to think! You ain't got a minute! Shut up, you hear me? Just shut your mouth! Okay, okay. Calm down. Take it easy. Quit waving that thing around before you get someone else killed! Oh, you gonna get smart with me now? Vince! It's okay. Just... back off. We all need to take it down a notch. You really want to pull that trigger again, son? Thanks, man. What the fuck? Did you see that? I saw it. Yeah. Hey, you gotta get us the hell out of here. You're not going anywhere! Fuck that! Get this bus moving! Hey, drive! I said Let's go, we're man. staying right here! We're safe inside the bus! Nothing's gonna holy shit! Jesus! Oh my god! Hey! Hey! You need to call someone! You hear me? We need to. Did he just bail on us? Oh, Jesus! What the hell, man? Back up, back up! Fuck! 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 Can't reach us. You sure about that? That ankle's gonna get. Shit! What do you think, Vince? Come on! We gotta do something! Find a weapon. Right, man. Yeah. Where's the guard's gun? Yeah. Yeah, the gun. Good thinking, Justin. Where the fuck is it? I think he fell on it. It's underneath him. Oh, fuck me. Get the gun, man! Get up, Vince! Hurry up! Shoot this asshole, Vince! Do it! Oh! Watch it, man! Sorry. Sorry. Man, I can't believe this shit. Can you believe this shit, man? No. We gotta find some way to get out of here. How are we get? What are you doing? Can't do anything until we get out of these damn chains. Maybe he's got the keys on him. Nothing. Well, shit, if the keys aren't on him, then where the hell are they? He must have left them up front. 
Maybe we finally caught a break. Danny, Hey, don't. buddy! What the fuck? God damn it, Danny. You always put your fucking foot fuck in you, man. We gotta get out of here before any more of them show up. That's not gonna hold. Vince! Fire the fucking gun! Whoa, whoa, watch it. Ain't gonna work. Away. Can't we just shoot off the chains? No way. Wouldn't cut through. What about the cuff? If we shoot one of those off, the chain will slip right out. Are you fucking insane? What do you think is gonna happen if you fire a shotgun that close to someone's well? Foot? What do you think's gonna happen if we don't get the fuck out of here? Vince, give me the gun. We gotta do this. Back off. Vince! What the fuck? Whoa, whoa, whoa! I know you got the balls, man, okay? I know! You're gonna do me and not this rapist? Come on! You know I'm you know a good I guy, man! This. Sorry. No, 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 you can't! Vince, I have a family. Oh! 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 oh Shit! Oh. Still attached. Again! Do it! Oh! 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 Hey, Shell, your sister's getting pretty good, huh? Becca had a good teacher, Steph. Thank you for doing that. She needs something to focus on besides, you know, everything else. Yeah. Growing up in a world like this, what do you think that does to a kid? I'm trying to protect her from it as much as possible. Things are stable here, for now. I wanted to grow up with this, not what's outside these walls. Becca's a good kid. These are shit times, and she's gonna go through that. But if we can keep her from experiencing some of the shit I've seen... Thanks, Stephanie. Thanks. Becca, that was great. Thanks, sis. You think we can do something like this every week? That sounds like a great idea. Maybe we can all get in on it, like some kind of weekly talent show. That was amazing, Becca. We could all use a little more music in our lives. Did I ever tell you that I used to play in a band? Yes, Roman, you've told us. She doesn't want to hear about it again. All right, all right. In that case, let's get back to work. Oh, and thanks to Boyd's hard work on the vegetable garden, we're having fresh soup tonight. Okay, let's get to it. You want to help me and Shell do the supply inspection? Cool. You check the flashlights this time. I'll look over the guns. 
Okay, but be careful. People's lives depend on those. We can't have them screwing up because we got lazy. Shell, when you get a sec, meet me out back. Help me feed the watchdogs. Sure thing. Eesh, these knives are looking pretty ragged. Don't worry, they're on our list. How we doing on ammo? Better than we thought. We haven't had to use these for a while. What? Nothing. What did Roman want? I don't know yet. Are you gonna find out? Yeah, in a sec. Huh. Still one short. We never found the other flashlight? Nope. Still in the cornfield somewhere, I guess. You guys need help? Nah, we got this. Right, Becca? You go ahead and help Roman out back. The diner looked pretty nice back then. That's because they used to pay people to clean it. Also, not as many dead visitors back then. Looks weird in here without the paintings. Well, Boyd wanted something to paint his own pictures on. I guess it'll be a personal gallery in here when he's done. Hey, Becca. Think we should start charging for the inspections we make? Oh, yeah. Then we can spend all our money at nowhere. We should do an inspection on these. Make sure they all work. Glad we thought to bottle our water before it ran out. Smells good. Still can't believe Clive got this thing working. So much nicer than having to eat raw food all the time. God, what I wouldn't give for a cup of coffee in the morning. Ooh, starting to thin out in here. Thank God we have a garden now. Scared me. He's hungry. I guess he knows it's feeding time. I feel bad for it. Yeah, well, at least we found a way for him to be useful. You know, uh, your sister said she wouldn't mind doing this. Roman, we've talked about this. Becca doesn't need to deal with this kind of thing. Listen, I know you think that giving her an easy life is what's best. But it's really not. This is far from an easy life, Roman. You know what I mean. She needs to know the sacrifices we have to make to survive in this world. As long as she knows how to protect herself, it's fine. I don't want her to stop caring about people. Okay. What's that one eating? I don't know. I'll check it out. I gotta get back out front. Looking forward to that soup. Again. Whoa! What's your problem? I do this all the time. You don't get all pissed off. I'm sorry. It's... It's just the watchdogs. I guess they found a, a puppy. A puppy? Yeah. 
I guess it just got to me. You know, it was, it was so little. You don't think about babies anymore, but after a while you just kind of accept this is it. Yeah, I guess you kind of forget. <laughs> right. But then, you know, there it is. You see it and you want to protect it and... And now it's gone. That sucks. Maybe if Clive dies next, we can put him out there instead. He'd make a better watchdog anyway. Becca. Shell! Becca! Something's going on outside! What is it? I don't know. Something bad. We gotta find Roman. Come here, everyone. Shit. Come on, we gotta find Roman. Let's mat them. If so care we were. Jesus. Largum. My God. Largum. What did you do? All I did was put on the blindfold and bind his wrists. Somebody else beat him up. He already had the cuts and bruises. Watchdogs caught him trying to steal supplies. Is he bitten? No. They didn't get that close. What did he take? Food, medicine, whatever he could get his hands on. Usual stuff. I couldn't get any other information out of him. I don't think he speaks English. I can't believe he just snuck it's in. the second break-in we've had in the last couple of weeks. Last time we couldn't catch him. And they got away with more medicine than we could afford to lose. We all know what it's like trying to survive out there. He just came in here for food. Let's just give him some. And send him on but his what way. what if there are more of them? He could have been scouting. That's right. He could be part of a larger group. If there were more, I think we would have seen them by now. I mean, nobody travels alone by choice anymore, right? Boyd's right. We should just let him go. Why? Look at the poor bastard. We've all done the same thing trying to survive. We don't have to be responsible for him, but we can give him some food and let him take his own it's chances. It's not about his chances. It's about ours. What's to stop him from coming back? And armed next time. We could always use more hands keeping the place secure. Boyd, we don't need any more people here. And look at him. How is he, he gonna... He can't help? even speak English. This group works because we know how to communicate. We can find a way for him to help. <sighs> well, he's not staying here. You let in a stranger and everything starts breaking down. The last time we did that, we lost Bree. And then Vernon with that goddamn boat. Vernon and the boat are the reason the group fell apart. Not trusting strangers. He made us beat up that guy with a mustache and steal his boat. We did that. I've regretted it ever since. That's when our group fell apart. He can't stay here. I agree. Keeping him here is not an option. In his condition, he'd be a drain on our resources. Look, we all know what we're talking about here, so let's stop dancing around it. We either let this guy go and take our chances, or we kill him. Jesus Christ! Are you serious? Roman's right. It's gotta be one or the other. We're letting him go. It's the only right thing to do. I'm telling you, we can't do that. But killing him? Is that really the answer? Stephanie, Boyd, you two don't think we should kill him. We know where Joyce and Clive stand on the subject. You're the swing vote here, Shell. What's it gonna be? We have to set him free. We can't. He's not even armed. We can't just kill him. This isn't in self-defense. Isn't it, though? If it means he can't come back to hurt us? That isn't the same thing. But last time... Joyce, that was a long time ago. If we kill this man, then we're giving up a part of ourselves that we can never get back. I'm not ready to let that go. <sighs> Cut him free. I hope you guys know what you're doing. Oh, Give him have? some food, when, three or four cans, just as a gesture of good faith. And get him out of here. 
I don't know if you can understand a word I'm saying, but you better understand this. You came this close to death today, and if you ever, ever come near this place again, or tell anybody where we are, you wish you had died today. Do you have any fours? Nope. Do you have any sevens? Yep. I miss playing guitar for everyone. It was stupid, but fun. Why don't we do that anymore? Since the attack, there's a lot we don't do anymore. I shouldn't have let that guy go. Boyd would still be alive and everything would be the same. Boyd agreed it was the right thing to do. Anyway, Roman's obsessed with keeping this place secured now. You know that's impossible, right? Well, after last time, Roman isn't taking any chances. And he should fix the loose board behind the storage lots. Becca, are you sneaking out again? Did anyone see you leave? No, no one saw me. You've got to stop doing that. You're going to get us both in a lot of trouble. I don't see why it's such a big deal. We had another break-in just last month. Uh, Becca, you know what it means if someone were to see you and follow you back here. No one is following me. There's no one else out there. Shell, I need to talk to you. It's open. What's going on? Hey, Becca. Hey. When you uh, get a sec, I need you to come out and talk to me. It's important. Okay. I'll be outside. You'll see me. We can talk here. No. Just finish up here and come find me. And don't take too long. What was that all about? Maybe he found out about the boards? Shit. You think so? If he did, I won't say anything. But... You better stay away from there for a while. Okay. Stay here. It'll be just a minute. I'll fill you in when I get back. How come no one's watering these? Joyce, do you know what's going on? I don't know if I should say anything. Please, what is it? They caught Stephanie stealing, and then trying to escape. Oh my god. What are they gonna do? I don't know. What can we do? I'll go talk to Roman. We'll figure it out. Roman? Good, you're here. I heard about Stephanie. I'm sorry. What are you gonna do? You know what we do. What happened? We caught her trying to escape. Maybe she wasn't. Maybe she just wanted to get outside these walls for a while. Ever since the incident, you've made this place feel... I don't know... Oppressive. We've made it safe. And she was definitely trying to escape. She had most of our ammo and medicine with her. She screwed us, Shell. All of us. And now we're in that position again where we can't keep her here and we can't let her go. You do know why I'm telling you this, right? Yeah. You want me to take care of it. You and Boyd were the ones who fought to let that guy go. Convinced us all to take that chance. But we did. 
and it was wrong, and now Boyd is dead. We're beyond the luxury of taking chances now, and I need to know that you're with us 100%. Let's talk to her first, see if we can talk some sense into her. No. She tried to sneak out and leave us without any medicine or extra ammo. She knew that could mean the death of any one of us. If we give her a second chance, she might not try to leave so quietly. You got your gun? It's in the camper. I'll give you a few minutes to get your head together. God, what do I tell Becca? That's up to you. Whatever you say, I'll back you up. Shell? What's wrong? Am I in trouble? What I'm gonna say is gonna be hard to hear. What is it? It's Stephanie. She stole a bunch of ammo and medicine, and tried to escape. Oh my god. What the hell did she do that for? Roman says we have to- Kill her? Yeah. Why would she do this to us? Because this place isn't safe anymore. After those guys attacked us, even after we let their friend go, this place just hasn't been the same. Of course not. Roman's trying to make it better. Better? No one is happy anymore. We live like prisoners. But it's safe here. I mean, yeah, I want to get away every now and then, but I would never leave. That's crazy. Roman wants me to do it. I'm sorry. Let's just get it over with. Your gun's over there, in the drawer. Are you okay? Do you want to talk about it? No, I don't. Just want to get it over with. You know, we don't have to do this. We can just go. What? We've survived on our own before. If we just go, we can be out of here before anyone can do anything about it. Are you crazy? Where would we go? There's nothing out there. As long as we're here, we're safe. The group will protect us. But for how long? I don't know. Longer than we'd survive out there. Besides, you know the rules. If we try to leave, Roman will hunt us down. We don't have a choice. This is who we are now. I don't want this to be who we are. Just let me do it then. No, I'll do it. You shouldn't ever have to do something like this. I just need a second. This really sucks. Yeah, it does. Shell, it's time. I don't ever want to put you in danger. If that means this is what we have to become, then it is what it is. Sorry. Me too.
Okay, got one. A snake for a tongue. You're so bad at this. Would you rather have a snake for a tongue? Awful. Or lobster claws for hands? Are the claws lobster size or human size? Human size? And make this easy on you. Well... I'm thinking. Think harder. And how exactly do you think harder? Good point. I'll think about that. Lobster claws. Weirdo. Think of all the crazy stuff you could grab. All I'm saying is, good luck finding a man if you have lobster hands. Good thing I'm not looking for one, then. Okay. How about... Oh, never mind. I probably ought to stop bugging you with stupid hypotheticals. Oh, come on. You'd be a lot less fun. You've been a lot more fun lately. Feeling better? I guess I am. Well, you sure do look better. Though, uh, you gotta admit anything is an improvement. That came out wrong. What I mean is... I mean, uh, you were... You were, uh... You know. Take a hike, Big Ears. I resemble that remark. You resemble a satellite. You know, you weren't so damn sassy before. Guess that's a good sign. I mean it, though. After we found you, you were still so hooked on that stuff. Well, I never thought you'd make it. You ain't out of the woods yet, I know, but... Well, you've come a long way, Bonnie. And I'm proud of you. Yeah, I'm a real poster child. I could see you on a brochure. Oh, like the ones at the dentist? Before and after, with the puffy face and the yellow teeth. Just look at her now. Look, you know I ain't going nowhere, right? As long as we're together, I'll be there for you. You ain't gotta worry. You know that, right? I know. God, Leland, thank you. Bonnie, yeah. Uh... Leland? Bonnie? D. Hey, honey. I found us something. What are you two up to? Just chatting. Chatting, huh? What about? Oh, uh, well, um, lobsters. Lobsters? Well, fishing. Figured it'd be worth a shot. For the food, you know. Leland, you hate fishing. That ain't totally true. And how many days you gone fishing? What? I go fishing all the time. Thought you, didn't I? I am a catch. Don't I know it. I got you a present. Oh, you shouldn't have. What'd you find? I'll tell you later. I don't mean to interrupt your chat with your, uh, girlfriend, but, uh, we gotta get moving. Girlfriend? So, where'd you get the bag, Dee? Dee? Dee, did you hear me? Keep up the pace, you two. Hey, Dee, when we get back to camp, would you let me borrow some of that nail polish? Sure, hon. You like this color? It's my favorite. And after today, I could use a new coat, you know? Same here. I feel like a drowned rat with these claws. Not to interrupt the girl talk here, but uh, Dee, that, that bag. Look, I found it down the road a piece, all right? Where down the road? Some place off that away. Damn it, Dee, you gotta give us more than that. Quit being so cagey about it. Me? Cagey? You two are the ones being cagey. Calm down, Dee. Just tell us where you found the bag. You guys sure gang up on me a lot lately. Honey, that ain't true. Tell me one time you sided with me in the last week. The last month. All right. I can't remember one especially, but I know I have. False. This is how all our fights go. Every time. Now we're standing here in the woods, soaking through, and for what? Don't you want to get to the camp before dark? I ain't the one who stopped. Hush, your voice is But you are down. the one Come who on made now. me stop. Irregardless, we could just as easy carry on like this while we're walking. Oh, I've about had it with that attitude. Attitude? And now You're we're gonna draw every dead thing from miles around you keep on goddamn like middle of nowhere you place. Did that on you listen to me now. I have had it up to I here with listening to you. To blaspheme. I can't believe you are still religious after My what we've been through. Ain't something I wear like a fucking sweater. Don't just take it off when it gets uncomfortable. Bonnie, darling, I'm I'm sorry we're... Darling! Dee, come on. Save it. 
I know what side your bread is buttered on. Yours, too. The now's not the time. Whatever issues we got, we'll hash them out later. I, I refuse to get in the middle of this. Well, too bad. You already are. I'm sorry. I just want to get somewhere where I can change my clothes, and then you and your girlfriend can... Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, God, run. Come on. We gotta move. What are you talking about? Oh, shit. I think I saw something over here. Shit. Where are you? You see anything? Anything? No, I can't see a damn thing out here. for me. Okay, Bonnie. Stay calm. Find a weapon. You did this. Oh, 
God, you killed me. You, you killed me. Anybody see anything? I should it's never dark out here. trusted you. Just, just a junkie. Not even. She, she did this to me. I, I didn't mean to do this, Dee. I swear to God, I didn't mean to. You, you love him. I saw seeing him look at you. I, I, no, God, I'm sorry. I need him. I need you both. You bitch. Mary, you wanted him. Didn't. Thank you. Help the stones. Dee, I would never. I swear this has nothing to do with him. It was an accident. Junkie. Spread out. It can't be far. D. D. Did you find her? Honey, I, I thought they got you back there. Jesus, are you shot? D. Oh, God, what happened? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord, Bonnie, what happened? Oh, my God, D. What happened to you? Your face? Her face, Bonnie! How did this happen? Why didn't you wait for me? Tell me what happened. Keep moving. You gotta be closing in. What's done is done. We have to get going. What? What's done is done? That's all you have to say? Uh, I no! Feel sick. You're going! Which way? There! Call out if you see him! I think I heard something over here! Come on! I ain't leaving her. They'll kill you! Wayland! I think I see him! Over here! You were right. There are survivors out here. Still alive? Oh, they're gonna be happy to get rescued. So how many are we talking about? Around five, I think. They left a note, so at least we know they want to be found. And I can see smoke in the distance. Probably a camp. I'm gonna try to make contact tonight. Great. Well, just be careful and use your best judgment. so good. I'm gonna try to talk to him. Wish me luck. Yeah, good luck. Be careful. Don't try to force him into anything. Just get as many of them as you can. You got it. Hey! Don't you- Bitch! Don't fucking move! Who the fuck are you? My name is Tavia. How did you find us? I found your note. I'm a scout for a growing settlement up north. We go out and look for survivors to rescue them. We have food, clean water, and shelter for everyone. We're offering you a chance to help us out and start over. God, this sounds too good to be true, but I think it is. Bonnie, get real. Just because you have to tell the truth all the time doesn't mean everyone else does. If I didn't trust people, I'd be dead. I know that for sure. 
People can care about you if you let them. Like Leland cared when he let you run off alone? That's enough, Becca. Guys, look. If I learned one thing from Danny, it's that we have to stick together and protect ourselves. What? That guy was an asshole. You should be happy he got killed before Shell and Becca joined us. Why? Don't worry about it. Yeah, screw this. We don't know what kind of people we're dealing with. The only reason I'm with you guys is because Vince saved my life. Look, we need people, plain and simple. And you folks can decide if you want to come as a group or split up or whatever. But I don't want to be out here in the open after dark. So in a few minutes, I'm going to be getting back in my car and on my way. Hopefully, at least some of you will follow me. Shell, why are we even listening to her? She's obviously lying. Even if she's not, I think it's better to just keep on the move. Staying in one place makes you an easy target. I don't care how safe you think it is. That truck stop was a death trap. It was right off the highway, for God's sake. No way you and a bunch of sick old people were going to defend it. I don't like this, guys. We should just walk away. I don't trust her. Well, why not, Russell? If they have food and medicine and... and... Yeah, medicine. Look... I don't trust her, Bonnie. I'm not lying to you. How do we know that? You don't. You don't have to come, but we'd be happy to have you. Oh, come on, guys. I mean, we left those photos so that someone could find us, didn't we? Well, it could be a trap. What if they want to kill us? Thank you. Everyone out there is batshit crazy. We've all seen it. Well, we turned out all right, didn't we? Relatively speaking. What are we gonna do? Eat you? Are you gonna eat us? No, that was a joke. I'm sorry. Look, I know you guys are wary, and you have every right to be. You don't know me from a hole in the ground. And yeah, there are some crazy fuckers out there. All I'm here to do is make an offer. You can come with me, or you can stay here. The choice is yours. So, who wants to come with me? I'm just not sure. We've been out here for so long and seen so much bullshit. I mean, is it really worth getting our hopes up? Of course it is, Russell. Hope is all we've got left. But being smart, that's what's keeping us alive. Some of you may have been separated from friends or family. It's a long shot, but there's a chance you could find them there. Have your people been through Statesboro? Yes, I think we have. Okay, but I swear to God, if you try anything, you're gonna regret it. Yeah, and if you're not lying, maybe, maybe Eddie will be there. We'll do everything we can to help you find your friends and family. But understand that I can't promise anything. We understand. I think we've all made up our minds. Well, I guess we have our group. What do you want to do with these? This is a good thing. I know it is. How do we know this will work out? I give you my word. 